Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 3, Episode 6 of my Rugby League Live 3, West Tigers crew mode. And as you can see there, Sam Thorday still suspended for this match, and this Sam G guy, I think he was the youngster we got from um, the Broncos a few seasons ago. Hasn't really progressed as well as we would have hoped, but he's also uh, picked up an injury as well, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, we've still got Sayo Mamau, um, who's still on the side, who'll be coming off the bench slash starting, possibly. Um, he's actually a pretty decent player, and I'm pretty happy with um, playing him uh, if there's any sort of injuries, but uh, this episode is going to be against um, Penrith Panthers first up and the Parramatta Eels second up and from memory I think Eels have actually had a pretty decent start to the season but I mean, uh, I mean there's only been a few games there's only been two official uh, NRL games plus all the you know nines and that sort of stuff um, but yeah you can see the kickoff the first thing that happened in the game was actually that kickoff and it's so annoying I figured out how to not do it now but at certain heights and that sort of stuff you either have to go kind of lowish like real low or the maximum height thing if you sort of go midway up it's going to be that shit little kick every time but that was a brilliant little offload there from uh, the Panthers and it just shows you the Panthers have come to play they're throwing the ball around a little bit attacking really really well and as you can see Bryce Cartwright just slotted the goal um from pretty far out I suppose but um I mean it's to be expected that he kicked that and then uh, it just shows we're not really helping ourselves there. I think it was Alex Glenn uh he threw a pass there that went to with the Panthers it was uh, a bit of a Bit of a shit kick, uh, sorry, a shit um, pass right there. Now, um, there was a penalty, and they decided to take the penalty goal, increasing the lead to 8 0. And then straight after that, you see here, big Jamal Idris. Does he have the legs to outrun off Luma? It does look like it. It sure looks like it. He is going to get there. And that is now 12 0, and it really has been an ambush. We've been ambu ambushed. I was going to say ambush at home, but it's an away game. But, yeah, it really, like, we have not come to play at, at the moment anyways. Um, we just haven't turned up yet. We haven't switched on. Uh, but there will be a moment where we'll switch on. You'll think maybe it's right here with James Tedesco. And, well, he's got tackled there. And that's a two-man tackle. But he does win a penalty, which could kickstart uh, kick our game, you would like to hope. Now, right here, Curtis Sheridan is going to get held up over the line. Now, I really wish the animation was able to reach out. Because, you know, they should be able to reach out from that area. But Curtis Sheridan, I thought for sure, was going to go in and score right there. But Granville, who jump into dummy half. We've got Chris Lawrence to the left. And Chris Lawrence, not a renowned kicker, but I think he has played 5-8 before, so I suppose not out of the you know, realm of possibility if Curtis Sirenum was tackled on the last something. So, um, yeah, Brooks couldn't get there, but Chris Lawrence launched up a great bomb. I think it was Aaron Woods who ended up scoring the try. And, uh, you know, we're right back in the game. Uh, they've had all the, the run of play at this stage. So um, it's about time we start getting uh, getting a little bit of ball and uh, just a little bit of momentum. But you can see they're trying to kill it uh, right away, kill our momentum right away. Breaking off tackles, everything. Um, they're really tough side, Panthers. I'm having a lot of trouble against them. And I think we'll probably have a lot of trouble against them all the time. I'm not really, can't really recall how we've done in the past against them. I think we must have done okay. But I think they were, they might, I think they might have even won a comp on here um, at the first season, possibly. So, like I said, they're, they're a great side on the game. See Seguiaro jumping in dummy half after a man sort of run. And Idris throws about 20 meters back. And the game sort of glitches out there. We go for a great tackle around the legs. And Sirinan throws him over the sideline. But, yeah, he was going over the sideline either way. You know, straight from the scrum. Get a nice little ball out to Simona. And there's the inside pass to Kevin Aguama. That is a great little run there from the Guama to get on the inside there. And uh, Tim Simona dragged them across. That was great work from Sirinan, Simona, and Kevin Aguama to finish it off. And we are right back into the game. I know we said that just before, but we are now officially back in the game. Should be a two-point ball game as Curtis Sirinan slots the goal. So yes, it is a two-point ball game there, and uh, hopefully before half time we can, we, you know, we can sort of get another another try. Hopefully that'd be nice. We've got Nofaluma here, takes it around the fullback as we normally do in that sort of situation. When you get in that sort of position with um, your wingers, you should be able to take it around the fullback. It's uh, not very hard. It's nearly a guaranteed to try every single time, unless you take on Tuvasa Shek, who seems to be able to stop it every single time for me. It's really frustrating. But uh, yeah, we finally got the lead. Who would have thought we would have had the lead going into half time after the start that we had? Uh, not me, that's that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, you can see a completion. 5 from 8, not too good. Panthers 7 from 9 is actually pretty good, but important stat is we've had the more time in possession, which is quite good now. We started off the second half appallingly, um, giving away a, uh, you know, just giving the ball away, really, and with a knock-on. However, we did survive, and um, you can see we did end up holding on, like I said, but we forced an error from the Panthers. So that's how we got ourselves out of trouble, pretty much, because although we did hold on down that end, um, didn't really get us out of trouble a great deal unless we sort of made a line break, which we didn't. Um, we sort of just kicked our way 
out of it and then force an error. And now you can see uh, we're trying to benefit from it greatly. And that was Luke Brooks who uh, takes the tackle there. Really should have um, got a pass off. But hopefully Cameron King can take advantage of it as he gets it to Kevin Aguama. And there was a huge bit of space there. Cameron King created the space. And Kevin Aguama on the inside yet again scores his second try of the game. And we extended the lead even more to our 10-point lead, I believe. So at this stage, it's, it's starting to become just like another regular game for us. Um the whole thing of like Panthers being intimidating and you know maybe going to win the game it's uh, sort of gone and you see David Clemmer going to extend the lead even more takes it straight around uh, straight around the fullback there and that was brilliant work from uh, Big Clem Big David Clemmer I couldn't believe he took it straight around the fullback it was um pretty incredible try in my opinion so yeah five from five is Curtis Sirenen I mean I just can't get over that it was that was actually a really nice try um a lot of it pretty much was just um just drawing pass and them getting getting a bit deep and. Obviously, you know, Clemmer running onto it full steam. I was hoping we could have just run over the top of the fullback, but that didn't really work out that way. I've tried that in the past and probably shouldn't try that again. But Clemmer again taking another hit up just there, and it is going to win a penalty. You see, there's a Simbin warning, um, but the more important thing is that we are taking the shot at two. Now, right here, you can see I added a little bit more um, for the distance. And that did result in us pretty much needing to get it uh, perfectly timed, which we didn't. Which actually is a surprise, because rarely do we miss. Probably one of the first time we've missed from in front, because the actual meter thing doesn't change at all. So, it is a bit strange that we couldn't end up kicking it, but uh, it doesn't really matter in the end, because we won 30, 30 to 14, I think it was. So, I honestly couldn't really care. Now, while uh, looking at all these other games, you can see Dragons uh, on top, as well as the Titans, which is a little bit of a strange one. But, I mean, they got Kieran Foran and that. So they've had a pretty uh, nice start to the season. Uh, probably won't see that happen anytime soon with their real team in real life. But um, yeah, I doubt you'd like. To, I doubt you'd see the Tigers killing it in real life either. Anyways, moving on to this game against the Eels, you can see here there's the lineup. Uh, Sam Thiday back into the side. His uh, suspension is up. He had a three-game suspension. Obviously, it's all over. And um, yeah, Chris Griezmann will move back to the bench and. Um, Sam Mau Mau will or have to pronounce it. I'm just going to settle on Sam Mau Mau as his name. Um, he has gone back to reserve grade. So here's uh, Elijah Taylor's first run. And um, yeah, that was the, the last bit of that clip. Now moving on to the fourth minute. See, it's Takarengi, I think. Um, he's going to get run down by Simona. But he does have a last ditch attempt at an offload. And it's not a bad offload. It's just there wasn't too much support. So um, thankfully we did round up uh, the Eels player who ended up getting to it. Now this was quite dangerous. Uh, the Eels player did tap it back. And there was a player right there. But thankfully Chris Lawrence grabbed it last minute. And ended up um, getting us out of trouble. Now Kevin Aguama, as he's done so many times, takes it around the fullback. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Reese Robinson. I don't know who it was at fullback. But Kevin Aguama just stepped around him. Made him look so silly. And there's one of those really awesome tries where they do the step and it's not the shitty animation where it like looks all looks all crap. Like the animation for stepping when they actually go for the tackle looks quite bad, I think. Um, but yeah, I think that that's what animation looks really nice. So that's a brilliant little inside ball from Tim Simona. And he had Granville in support, I think it was. And if he could have got the pass off, Granville was a way to score. Now right here, he was having another chance. I don't know who it was that ended up with the ball. But that was very, very lucky for us that, you know, we let the ball bounce and we got away with it because Tedesco was there to save the day and make that tackle. Now, Tim Simona here comes up with a step, and all he's going to do is get to the line. R Raja is gaining on him, but I don't think he's going to have enough in the tank to get to him. And then the last second, a goose step, um, not that it did anything. It kind of just made him look like an idiot, but uh, as R Raja sort of just stepped to the left for some reason. But, yeah, he ended up scoring a try, and that's great stuff there from Tim Simona. I mean, uh, it might not be the fastest player, but that little bit of a step, and he's got great strength on this game as well, so... He definitely is a good player. I'm glad to have him in the center position. Now, right there, that was a poor offload. I think it might have been Pete's came up with the offload. Um, I don't really know why he would offload it there, but Granville was, was right on the spot and put himself in a great position. The unfortunate thing is we threw an intercept, um, which did result in Eels making a break. Thankfully, we did run them down, but it can see they're putting on relentless pressure here, but we are coming in numbers, um, coming across, and just making those last-ditch uh, attempts and, uh, you know, coming up with the goods, really. And 12 nil is uh, what it is at halftime. We survived a halftime. We survived um, their little onslaught. So that was pretty good. And we have a little bit of an onslaught of our own. You see Granville uh, getting the second half started with a few little grubbers. The first one was a repeat set. The second one is camping them down their own end, which is what we want now. See, fifth tackle. They're just outside their own 20. And there was a bit of a charge down. wouldn't have been counted. Had they got the ball back, they would have... Uh, had it would have still been uh, it still would have been the fifth tackle. However, you can see right here, um, Granville took a little dart from dummy half. I'm not sure what tackle it was, but we do win a penalty. And for the second game in a row, 
we miss a shot at um, goal, a penalty goal. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it was actually kind of frustrating me because I never miss those penalty goals. I rarely miss goals in general on this game. Uh, sometimes I go on those bit of like a bad spree, but from that sort of area, we should be hitting that every day of the week, every time, and it's just not happening for us at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm sure Curtis Sirenen, he'll get down there and he'll sort things out, but Eel's just attacking really, really well here, keep going to um, where the, the original play started, and it's just exposing us really, but like I said earlier, we are just coming up with those um, those tackles, those last minute tackles, and there's another one, Cameron King ends up with the ball after a straight offload, and then we have another chance, oh sorry, the the Eels have another chance here. It is the 75th minute. James Tedesco comes up with a big tackle there. And, um, yeah, he ends up saving the day, sort of. And then Elijah Taylor will score to pretty much wrap up the game for us. It is the 79th minute. And it will will go ahead and kick the goal this time, you would think. Maybe not after a, a recent track record. But he has 3 from 3 with normal conversions. 0 from 2 um, in penalty. Oh, sorry, just 0 from 1 in penalties. But that is how it ends. It is a pretty comfortable victory. Um, Eels weren't really a match for us, i got to say. And Tedesco picks up man of the match. Elijah Taylor, Tim Simona, Kevin Aguama are picking up tries there. And our completions are really good. 19 from 20. That's really impressive. Now, you see here, Mike Cooper. He actually got suspended for dropping the knees. Obviously, it can't happen. But he is going to be suspended for two matches. It wasn't a fast cut. But that's just a depth issue. Now, here are the results for round four. Um, you can see there. We are alone at the top. Uh, it's finally we're at the top by ourselves, and here's the ladder to uh, finish off round four. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. If um, if you did enjoy it, you know, make sure you subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT. Phase the page in the description below, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.